He fractured his skull and died the same evening. Highlights from the third test at Sydney include the English captain's fine first innings knock of 79. Here's how he passed the half century with a nice crack to the boundary. But alas, the tourist's tail wouldn't wag. Clean bowled by Miller, war was dismissed for four runs. Off Johnson's bowling, Bailey was snapped up by wicketkeeper Talon for 15. And when Evans called for a quick run, Wright not only couldn't make it, but injured a muscle in trying to do so. Two hundred and ninety all out. It was now England's job, without Wright and Bailey, who was also hurt, somehow to get the Aussies out cheaply. Bedsoe opened the bowling to Archer. Then came a sensation. Bedsoe bowled Morris for a duck. This was indeed a magnificent start, but that's as far as it went. War plugged away, but without success. Bedsoe kept it up and took four for 107. And so did Brown, four for 153, but Australia made 426. To reinforce England's three-man attack, two new bowlers, Roy Tattersall, an off-spinner, and Brian Statham, not yet 21, a fast bowler of great promise. Both of them, by the way, are Lancashire players. They left from London Airport. Good luck to them in Australia. General Eisenhower's call a 